Hello, my friends. Ah, it's a beautiful day today. I'm enjoying uh, some afternoon coffee on the balcony. On the pipe with some great tobacco. So I wanted to just briefly show you what my dear friend Gary sent me. Gary, old and in the way. So if you don't know Gary, I would be surprised. But I will leave a link to his channel in the description, of course. So I would suggest you checking him out and give him a sub. He's a great guy and a dear friend of mine. So he sent me some really nice stuff. It was, I, I believe it's already two weeks ago, it must be, that I received it. And I did make a video opening the box, but I was just a tired mess. So I decided not to, to, <laughs> to post that video. But uh, anyway, I'm here to give you some first impressions of one of the tobaccos that he sent to me. And it's one that I had been looking forward for a long time to try. And it, it, so thank you so much, Gary. I'm so glad that I was able to, to try this. You know, uh, probably told you all this before, but I, when I first tried Pizzon's University Flake many years ago, I didn't like it. Uh, and I tried it again, and that was probably 10, 12 years ago. I still didn't like it. I didn't understand it. I was primarily a Virginia and English guy at that time. And then I started getting into Burleys and Virginia Burleys and traditional, more traditional blends, blends from the, from the British Isles and uh, Ireland. And yeah, <laughs> suddenly I, I realized I love this stuff. But of course, uh, we can't get pizza and tobaccos anymore. Uh, and I was surprised to learn that we could not even get this anymore. So I thought, well, I sometimes go to Copenhagen. I can get a couple of tins from the Danish pipe shop, but they have stopped selling it too. So yeah, you saved me, Gary. And you might remember um, if you follow uh, Corey, Portland pipe smoker, he visited me and we opened uh, an old tin that I got from a friend of University of Lake, Irish made, uh, and it was just superb. Excellent stuff. So Wallace Flake is supposed to be almost identical. No. Almost identical to, to University Flake. Some people say it's slightly different, and some say it's yeah um, the same. So who knows? All I can say is that this is really good, and uh, yeah, this since they it's not the same producer anymore. Uh, they changed the description. Um, But from what I can tell, in my opinion, Wallace Flake is the same as University Flake. The way I remember it. Maybe not the same as the Irish made version. Because this is, <laughs> we have to consider that this is aged for who knows how many years. 20? 30? I, I have no no clue. Mm. And uh, 
supposed to have a um, um, plum topping. It even, it even says so on the description. For me, it's it's always been more of a blueberry and uh, raspberry uh, topping. Um, let's so uh, let's compare it just well to the old Irish made version. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the, the topping I would say is the same. Again, I would guess blueberries and raspberries, but only a hint. But I think that the similarities end there uh, between the old and the new, uh, the, the Irish made and Wallace Flake. So if you look at difference in, in color, this is the old Irish made and this is Wallace Flake. Yeah. So not very similar there, but it had this uh, really rustic and old timey uh, taste to it that I really love now. And it has just the right uh, balance between Virginia's and Burley's. It has enough birdies to, to 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 be robust enough. And it has enough birdies to uh, be enjoyable with coffee. So in my opinion, very few tobaccos go well with coffee. English is no way. Balkans, absolutely not. Virginia's, not so much. Burleys, yes. They go excellent, but of course that's just that's just my opinion. So, but he, he sent me some some more stuff. He sent me a very generous sample of rat race sterling fake, which is supposed to be the same as as um, Irish Flake by Pete Sands. and I haven't, I haven't had that in 10 to 12 year, years either uh, but um, yeah I've had two bowls of this so, so far and yeah I like it it's definitely much more robust than um, Wallace Flake or University Flake But very enjoyable for me in small bowls. It's not that it's really, really strong, but yeah, it's spicy. And if I smoke too much of it, or if I smoke a big bowl of it, I tend to get a kind of metallic taste. Uh, the same metallic taste that I often get from the twists and ropes. And uh, yeah, so, but uh, really good. But that's not all he sent. He sent me this too. Elizabethan mixture. I haven't had this in many years either. I remember trying this quite early on in my uh, pipe smoking career. Uh, this must be almost 25 years ago um, when I went to, to London. And I forgive me if I've told you this already too. But on Heathrow Airport, I bought a sample pack of five Dunhill tints, five different Dunhill blends. It was mm, standard mixture medium, early morning pipe, 
nightcap, um, <laughs> royal yacht, and Elizabethan mixture, if I remember correctly. And I opened the standard standard mixture first, and I thought there was something wrong with it. I never experienced Latakia before. Um, did not enjoy that at all. So I opened uh, the nightcap, I believe. And apparently there was something wrong with that too, because it smelled like it had already been smoked. So, but then I opened the Royal Yacht and Elizabethan mixture. And uh, even though they were kind of on the strong side for me as a very young man, uh, I enjoyed them a lot. So I'm looking forward to try that uh, maybe uh, in the summer. I noticed that the Wallace Flake, I should have dried it before I, before I fill the pipe, but yeah, I don't mind relights. Oh, and this pipe, uh, this is a Björn Turman, he's probably my favorite pipe maker, he's no, no longer alive, but yeah, what a great maker. I got this cheap because you see someone <laughs> botched the uh, reaming of this pipe and uh, the, um, the stamping is, is also very thin. But I think it's one of his high-end pipes and they're very reasonably priced still. Um, mm. So I think that's it. Thank you so much, Gary. There's a package coming your way very soon. And um, yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're experiencing some early signs of spring like we do today. And I hope you're all having a nice weekend. See you next time. Bye.